So without any further ado, I'd love to turn it over to Kadri um, and to, to share your thoughts about the theme for this year's ELS, which now feels more pertinent than ever. Um, and it's human being, being human. And you've really been a thought leader for us around thinking about this theme, Kadri. So it would be great for you to share um, with these folks at home um, what you're thinking about. Okay. Thank you, Max. Thank you for this introduction. Um, first of all, hello to you all. I may not know you personally, but I give you a sincere greeting from my heart and also behalf of our community here in Estonia and behalf of the Hedgehog. <laughs> so here I am finding myself in my lounge, sitting here alone and you all there and who would have thought that this speech or those words would be presented in such environment but at the same time this connection that we are making now is new fresh and an interesting one so it has and it is very big honor and privilege for me to be the steward of this theme of European Leadership Summit 2020, which is human being, being human. So I speak with my voice and I speak my truth, but I also speak behalf of our community. And I would just like to tell you that we have been putting a lot of heart and effort and time into preparing uh, this firstly planned ELS and let me tell you each of those moments have been so worth it and they will still be when the molecules start forming so that at one point we're able to be in the same room and physically share it so um, we are very grateful for this opportunity and we, I also would like to use the chance to say thanks to the team in San Francisco and the Burning Man headquarters. It's such an honor uh, to work with you guys, to learn from you and go create. Really appreciate you and what you do. So, but here we are. <laughs> and all the cards on the table are mixed and everything has a new meaning and we all are in this together so now um i posed this question myself what does it mean to be a human at this time so there are million different ways how to even approach this question so there can't be any logical way so i went through some of my notes from my journal when i was preparing for this theme and i got inspired and instead of giving you a logical presentation i decided to tell you a story I just made it up and it's a fiction, but it's based on true life events and by the voice of my heart. So the story itself is really simple and it goes like this. Once upon a time, which is now exists a human being. The mission of a human being was to become aware and activate its three superpowers. Three to begin with. Simple. So the first superpower is freedom. Yes, it's a power because when we know how to, 
we can create freedom, the state of freedom under any circumstances. Freedom is about liberating your mind from compulsive ideas, taking the responsibility of your decisions. It's about letting know, it's about letting go of having to know all the answers and accepting the unknown, accepting the chaos. The freedom is about resting in peace, choosing trust over control. And there is the second superpower, which is love. And yes, it is a great power. Indeed, it is one of the greatest powers in the world. And hey, it's for free. <laughs> and we all can love. And we can love when we know how to open our hearts. And when we know how to connect to the deepest treasures which human soul seeks. But it's very difficult to give it a name. But when your cup is full, it overflows and effortlessly waters all hearts in need. Loving hearts has those treasures of kindness and compassion those that help us recognize each other and relate to with each other's beauty, each other's depth, pain, fear, desires and dreams. And loving heart doesn't want to fix any situation it is about being present with another human being, non-judgmentally. Non and this gives us humans feeling that we are not alone. So love is a mystery, but once you're connected to it, all the doors that are meant to, for you magically starts to open. Yes, there is a third superpower, which is creativity. But this one is the trickiest of them all because one can create anything because there are endless tools which you can just imagine. But um, when you use your first superpower alone, which is freedom, it can become pretty overwhelming. So the creation has a charge of inspiration when love gives it a purpose and meaning. So it's highly recommended to gain your creativity by uniting your mind with your heart. And so you have the three superpowers by aligning love and wisdom. End of story. Thank you so much. So this is a fairy tale, but a human being uh, can create and give, can give meanings. So which means we have a choice, either to uh, believe the stories from the news or to create ones ourselves. What do you think, Max? I thought that was so beautiful. Not only do I want it like written and like um, illustrated in ways that you can imagine, but I also like want it as my bedtime story. 
And uh, that was just really beautifully um, told. And it's so beautiful to look at you. You look like this mystical sorceress right now, like out of time. Um, I've always thought you're just this magical um, person. And those were really affirming words. So thank you for such a heartfelt um, opener for our day, Kadri. We're really lucky. Thank you. And uh, just one more thing to add. I think we have it all. Like we know it all. And we know how to create with style and passion. And the change is inevitable, but we only get better in time. So let's do this. All right. Let's do this.